Hello everybody on YouTube, it's Michael here. Um, sorry I haven't done any videos for quite a while. I kind of took a break ever since I've uploaded my 100 video. So here I am once again, going to do some more videos. This video is going to be an update to my keyboards collection. As you can see, I've got some more keyboards and synthesizers since my last video. I usually do updates on my keyboards collections after I showed off a certain keyboard. For instance, the last one, the last time I showed off the PSS 790, um, there was an update on my keyboards collection that I showed after that. But as I got a lot more new keyboards than usual, I thought I'd do a separate video of my updates on keyboards collection. So now I'm going to show you what they are. This keyboard well, <laughs> synthesizer is the Korg M1. It came out about five years after the DX7 and it's got some really awesome presets on. You have a hundred preset combinations and a hundred preset programs. I love the piano sound of the M1. Dance music from the early 90s have used this piano sound a lot. And the organ sound. Those are my best sounds on the M1. Really awesome synthesizer. So that's the Korg M1. And up here is the Yamaha CS2X synthesizer. That was around in the late 90s, before the Motif series of synthesizers. As you can see, a couple of the knobs are missing and there's one dodgy key. As you can see, there's a little crack there. But other than that, it works really fine. It's a really good synthesizer for all its features. So that's a CS2X synthesizer. But even the Yamaha DJX keyboard has samples from this synthesizer. Right then, moving on. This one here is the PSR215, which I got very cheap, at just £10. And I'm going to tell you the reason why. As I work in a music shop, I um, delivered a piano at a customer's house, and he had this keyboard that he, want, that he um, I admired, and I liked it. And he said that he's thinking of getting rid of it, so I said to him how much he'd do it for. He said he'll do it for twenty pounds, but when I when I examined it a bit further, I found that this speaker here didn't work. So he said go for a tenor. So I accepted. And the reason why the speaker didn't work is that. He um, soldered um, the adapter inside this keyboard. Basically, he opened up the keyboard and soldered the adapter wire into place of the power, which made one speaker didn't work. So the next day, I've opened up the keyboard, took that wire out, and the speaker was working fine. So now I've got a bargain there. PSR215. You have 100 voices, 50 rhythms, and 15 demonstration songs. It's basically the same keyboard as the PSR 210 and 310. So yet again, a bargain at just £10. Up here is a 1980s Casio Tone 405. Really nice piece of kit there, with a um, chipboard cabinet. And you have 20 tones and 12 rhythms. It's basically the same as the, the, the little Casio, the MT68, but it's in a full-size keyboard. So this keyboard, the Casio Tone 405, is the same as the C. Sorry, the same as the MT68, but it's a full-size keyboard. As of the MT68, it's just a small keyboard. So yes, I've had fun playing this. All right, and moving on for the two keyboards. The two small keyboards here, there's the Casio PT-1 and the Yamaha PSS-120 that I bought at car boot sales, bargain at just £1 each. The Casio PT-1 here, you have four sounds and ten rhythms, one key play feature, record feature and the demonstration song. It's sort of like the same as the VL Tone because it's got the same features. 
So I thought this was a bargain for just one pound at the car boot sale. I shall probably do a video of this keyboard next. Moving on, last but not least, yes, the PSS120 that I also bought at a pound, just one pound at a car boot sale. It's a really good, really good keyboard. You have eight rhythms, eight sounds, a demonstration song, and a recording feature. The sad thing about this keyboard is that it only survives with two notes polyphony, and when you do the recording feature, it's only monophonic. I know that previous videos I pronounced monophonic as monophonic. I honestly didn't know how it was pronounced, so I apologise on that. So there's my updates on my keyboards collection. And synthesizers, of course. Maybe more to come. Thank you for watching and goodbye for now.